What up, world? It's Eternal Authenticity, broadcasting live. I'm out here walking in nature, you know, walking to a client's house to help them out with the walk. For the dog, Fred, you know, to be honest, the car is out. Our car is out for repair. And there's always a plane flying. Every single vi every video I do, there's like always planes and cars and stuff. Everybody's <laughs> getting ready to rush on to work right now. That Friday, Friday early day traffic. That 9 to 5. <sighs> Literally. But anyways, our car is out for repair right now. So, you know, I'm choosing a walk. Thankfully, the place is close by. I mean, it was like 30, 40 minutes to walk. Only like five or six minutes to drive there, but it's not even it wasn't it's not even that long of a lot not even that long of a walk to be honest. We're built to go far, you know. Our ancestors have gone very far, you know, without walking. So, I mean, with walking and running, you know, what I mean, like our ancestors are strong people. So, you know what I mean, like. It's honestly good to walk because one, most people, as I just said, they're on their way to their nine to five, you know, <laughs> and I can already see their face. Honestly, it's kind of funny because it's like, I can already interpret what they're thinking. Well, I don't know everything, but it's just, I can sense it out. You know, a lot of these people, just based off their actions, they probably like, they look over to the side of people like us, you know, who may be on the road less traveled who may be following their own heart instead of conforming to the matrix, you know, robotic way of life. You know, they may look at us and they're just like, they know we're happy. They know we're, you know, well and healthy and, you know, original, but it's like they're still stuck, you know, and they're like, oh, gotta go to this job that I don't like, but I gotta go. And then guess what? We're the same people who delivers the food to those people sometimes, you know? Like, oh my goodness, there are some loud planes in this world. We gotta do something about the planes too. We gotta be able to get some eco-friendly planes so it's not all this noise, you know? But we're the same people that delivers the food to those people. You know, those same people are gonna be the ones who, we serve sometimes when they're in their offices, corporate offices, this and that, and they look miserable sometimes. But sometimes they're excited, I guess, to see the food or whatever. But, you know, you can already see it. They gotta get back to what they're doing. And I guess we gotta get back to what we're doing. It's nothing personal. It's just like, you know, you know there's something else. There's something far deeper that can connect us, that can unite us. You know, and I guess that's what I'm always striving for. But I know it's especially at night, you know, finally, those nine to fivers, they're coming home, you know, we might be serving them some food with deliveries or whatever. And, you know, <laughs> they they come home like taxed, you know what I'm saying? They come home like they just came out of, a, out of like the Tour de France or out of like America, like out of a, I don't know, like an Olympics or something like that, you know, drained, tired, you know, and they feel so relieved to be at home <laughs> from the job, you know, it's funny, but, you know, we all out here getting it, that's one thing I've noticed is that, you know, everybody's got a different stack of cards, and everyone has the ability to, you know, handle their stack of cards, and, you know, play the game of life. You know what I'm saying? How it's supposed to be. You know, just like Uno. Y'all ever play Uno? Y'all know that game is actually fun. I'm good at Uno. I know it's not even really skill in Uno. It's really just random cards. And you just <laughs> hope you win. <laughs> but it's life, I don't know. I love to just say nature is God. You know, and just move forward with that. And just 
you know, have a knowing of some magic and some enchanted stuff, you know, beyond fairy tales, because it'll actually be real. So I just stick with that. But I realize a lot of people have different cards. We all have different cards. So, you know, it's dope when you can realize that, that you can, you know, just embrace your cards that you have. You know, that's how, that's how true peace gets started when you're not comparing yourself constantly. You know, that's what's helping me because it would never be good enough if you're always looking over to your neighbor or looking over on social media. Social media, that's why I keep saying it. Social media is one of the biggest, I mean, it's a great tool. It can be a great tool, but it's like very few people really are using it super well. You know, even Bill Gates. Bill Gates, one of the wealthiest people in the world. I mean, I don't be seeing him on IG, you know, getting on Instagram Live and stuff like that. You don't even need that, you know? So, it's cool to have a new perspective on this stuff because, I mean, your originality is key and it's important, you know? Because it's like, how are you going to, you know what I'm saying? That's like me. Okay, yeah, I'm good. I'm well